What's up guys and welcome back to the hammer survival series. It's really hard to control this uh, boat when you are facing this way So we are going to jump out of there really quick go back uh, Something I've really wanted to work on for a while and kind of something I've always wanted to do But I've never really done it is create an entire area in a jungle biome And I know where one is but the thing is is that it is 3,000 blocks away I know I see you mr. Dolphin you're around me, but they it is a really far journey and i don't want to travel this far so what i'm doing right now is i'm on my way to there to then do the subsidian get into the nether and then find a be better pathway to get to and from my original place to the world over here just because i thought it was way quicker i was starting to do the train station area and all the um, stuff i wanted to do but i realized as i was doing i'm like why am i doing this like i can literally just do portals which would be a lot faster so I'm on my journey and I just realized I totally forgot that we have, because I've been over in this area before, but I totally forgot we have a water temple right here. And I am very, very excited to start to once we or at least have an easier way to get there. And that's something I'm super excited about. That's going to be later in the series is when we face one of those is once we get better armor and all after we fight the ender dragon and stuff like that. But I'm really excited about something like that. That, 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 that sorry, that puts me in a really good mood. But we are here, we're gonna get into the nether and we're gonna get home and then like pretty much connect these portals or like at least make a pathway to where I can get from portal to portal without traveling this far every single time. So we'll be able to do it a lot easier, which I'm super excited about. All right, everyone, we are here and we have our nether portal right here. So we're gonna jump in that because what I'm thinking about is I really wanna build a, what do you call it, a tree house. And I really wanna start, where's the spot? There's a spot for it, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's up there. I really want to base it off like this tree right here and then like bounce it from that tree to that tree. And then hopefully like we'll just grow more of them. And then we'll be able to like really cre create like a really cool tree house look, which I'm super excited about. We can jump into that. But first things first, I really want to do is I want to get done connecting these two or at least getting a pathway for these two to start going. So let's get on it. We got a lot of some of the area done of the cobblestone and it's gonna be a ginormous bridge that kind of goes across don't worry i know it looks really boring and plain as you can tell there is not a lot of excitement to this bridge but i'm going to design it over time um i do really want to get um i'd say just a little bit different type of uh, design like i don't know exactly what i'm going to do yet but like it goes up here it goes over here come on baby come on baby there we go we still need to finish connecting that, but I'm just going to go. I have a bunch of cobblestone back at the place, so I'm going to go grab that really quick. And I'm just going to get the basis done of this thing. And then once we're done with that, like, it's going to be so much easier to, like, travel around the world. Or at least get to that other biome, which I'm super excited to start working on. All right, guys. So I kind of did a thing. So I finished the train station to the other portal from my like original nether and all that kind of stuff is going on but i came back and i saw that this area where my nether portal was wasn't really looking good and i kind of wanted to officially finish this downstairs part of the house and i didn't want to add anything else in there because i want to add everything else up there so i kind of did something so i changed the nether portal so, uh so first things first there's my three by three door which i really like so it like when it's closed it's just like that and looks kind of cool and then we have this like little fireplace area and since i'm in bedrock and the 1.6 has a weird lag where like the flames kind of just stand still i don't know i don't really like that but open it up and here's where we are we have this cool new little nether room which i'm i really like like i don't know like, I don't know. I don't know. But whatever, whatever you guys think, I mean, I really, really like it. But let's see how things are going over in this dire general direction. Because I did finish a lot of work on a lot of my... Or the project that I was working on, which was over here. What's up, guys? Oh, the, by the way, this is the... What do you call it? Farm. The villager farm that I've been trying to do. And I just realized that I don't have a bow. But we finally finished the train station. So we go in here. As you guys saw earlier, this is what I've come up with. I think it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better. All the gas out here, you know, trying to kill me. I need to get this thing to move a little bit faster. And I think I just need to put a little bit more of the rails in that general direction just to make this thing go by a little bit faster. But I think it looks good. And it's like, I'm going to add some lights in here and stuff like that. Just so no mobs come in. But... The train station looks really cool, and you can see kind of the nether area that I'm going in. 
but it did take a lot of work and that's kind of the biggest portion of it but here we go i still haven't finished the room over here because i want to like make this into kind of a cool room this area right over here because there's mobs in here and i don't really like that i kind of want to light this place up and cover it up but this is like the other nether portal that leads me to the jungle biome which i'm going to start building in and really kind of start doing things in and I did come up with a new conclusion. So I based off on this tree area, which I still really like because I want it to be in the center of things. But I really want to do like a personal, like organic, my own design tree. And I think it would look really cool. I do like we could do it over here. I do like thinking of like a bridge area in the city just across this, which I think would look cool too. So a lot of this is just such up for grabs at this point, And we finally can start on this area which i've been kind of been looking forward to but the projects i really wanted to get done were those and so i'm glad we finally got those done i'm going to design like a little cool area for this as well so let's keep moving on and let's start kind of farming some stuff to start really getting all this stuff going what's up buddy hi how are you okay guys i am super hyped i literally just broke down one tree like literally have nine wood and I run over here, I hear spiders, and I'm like, what is that? We literally found a spider spotter, like, right here. Let's go. Hey, guys. That's going to be so... Oh, we got a disc, too. I actually... Okay, I am so excited right now. Now we have a spider spawner and an XP. What's this? Piercing. Cool. But we got... This is so exciting. I am so hyped about this. Now I just have a spider spawner, like, right here. So now... Oh, life is so, so, so good at the moment. Let's go. What's up, Mr. Panda? Are you in a good mood? Will you take, what do you want, like some steak? Is that kind of, oh, you got a bugger. Hi, buddy. Hi. You're kind of cute. But as things get forward, let's continue with a little bit of the base that I really want to get started. Sorry, I, that just got me so excited. That puts me in like the best mood ever. Let's go. All right, let's 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 focus on this house. Let's focus on this house. What's up, guys? We are finally finished with the ginormous tree that we just constructed. It's taking me about seven hours to do because I've had to collect all the materials. Which, as much as I've been doing this now, I really want to start making an automatic tree farm because I use so much wood and I would think it would just be so much better to make something like that. I'll probably do that at my old world or my old living area, but bam, there it is. What's up? There's the ginormous tree. It still has some work because I want to extend the branches a little bit more, but there is the basis and this has taken me, oh, so long. Ouch. I'll go over there just to kind of show you guys the physical size of this area which is just unbelievably massive and i've done this all in one day by the way i did this completely all in this one sit down collect the materials and all that kind of stuff um the interior is nothing special so what i want to do now is i want to go get some birch wood because i think it would look good with the dark planks as we fade into the other world um oh i always i don't even know why but that still gets me dizzy to this day but let's get on our way over there and get some birch wood to finally start building the interior of the house. And that's exactly kind of what I want to start doing right now. All right, guys, after a few adjustments and stuff, we finally finished the base and kind of the beginning of the tree house portion of the base. And we got some cool stuff with it. I, I'm super excited with how it turned out. I had to go collect so much wood. For this project which i think is kind of funny because i remember even in last episode i literally said here i'm gonna cover that up um even in last episode i said that i wasn't gonna work on a massive project next and somehow i don't ever even listen to myself so now we have a whole nother ginormous base that i really like so it's really dark in here so i'm gonna light up like the up area like up here more which i might just do like kind of a ramp or like bridges but i have an elevator right here i really like the design of it so like if i go right here i go up it's just like soul sand and then you just basically shoot up and the nice thing too is that you don't lose um like oxygen while you're in there but one thing i want to do now is i want to get the glass uh panes right in these areas and then i want to start working on the roof because once we're done with that because i don't really want it to be horribly too flashy but i still want it to look really good if you know what i mean so let's get moving a little bit on that and we'll be 
we set to go. It's going to look super, super good. I'm excited for it. So we finished a lot what we wanted to do with it. It's still under construction. As you can tell, there's a bunch of dirt random. And it's just because I think it's an easier block to move around, especially at higher places other than, what do you call it, scaffolding. Like scaffolding gets me up there, but the dirt helps me get around. I did have to change the branches a little bit just because I wanted it to look a little bit differently than what it was showing right now. So we got something along the lines of that. And I think it looks really good, personally. If you guys wanna check out the inside and kind of the stuff like that, a lot of this is still under construction, so it's not perfect yet. We still have a decent amount of work to do with the actual house, and the interior is not lit up, which is something I wanna change as well. Leave. But um, I like this, this is uh, like an elevator. It helps me get from like the bottom to the top really quickly. So you just put some soul stand with some dirt or some, what do you call it? I don't even know. I can hear something. There's a skeleton nearby. I don't want to fall and die. Um, if you guys were wondering why I only have one X to one level of XP, it's because I have fallen um, probably about 15 to 20 times building this house and I have died so many times. I'm not even willingly trying to get XP right now because I already know finishing this thing is gonna take me another Pro it's probably gonna fall another it's probably gonna be another day to officially finish this entire tree because i still need to do some stuff with this roof some stuff with the floor a little bit on the outside make like a bed area but like this is kind of a cool little base that i really i really do enjoy but i still need to finish the bottom half like underneath this that's a uh, dark oak like i did on the top so it looks like it's kind of like those are the things that are like this is in between but i really do like the inside of this and I might change, ooh, that might look good. Change those to cobblestone and then do that with below as well. Huh, or does it look good like that? I'll have to check that out. But I think so far we have done a lot of work with this and I'm going to continue just keep moving along with it and see what we can do to really keep making this is the best like second base I can really have. So let's get on with it. So the bottom is complete and I did a little bit of the interior design above. So let's go check that out really quick. We have to go up our trusty little elevator. The lighting still isn't done, but I did move around some of these chests, put the little crafting box over there. I got a little furnace area, um, but I've done a few things. So let's jump right up here. I really like what it looks like in here. I think it looks really good. I got a little bed area, which I'm, very fond of oh i had to read yeah because i slept at the other place but um we got a crafting table right over there little <laughs> that's right there and i don't know what i'm gonna add here yet but this is gonna be like my bedroom i want to add like little armor guys maybe some i don't i definitely want to have like a stand of the weapons or like uh the axe and i think the shovel that built the place so we'll get on that too just giving them a little bit of honor for what they do because i like i really like to do that it gives it one a filler space but also gives it a gives the little bit of credit to what's been done um i like this area cool i think it's kind of cool yeah like a little up arrow for when we have to go up a little down arrow for when we have to go down but i really like the design of this so far and i think we've done a really good job so that is all going to be for today's video we were going to work a little more on the interior the lighting and just a lot of the uh what do you call it the bushes and like the you know the sapling not saplings the you know the other uh, leaves i cannot think of the word right now um my mind's a little bit fried uh just from like staring at this computer for a couple hours today so i felt like we got a good amount of work done uh even though it's a little dark in here no mobs will spawn because this is all slabs um but yeah if you guys really enjoyed the video and are looking forward make sure to check out the other videos and look forward to other new ones coming up as well i'm going to try to post at least two to three let's plays a week it's also you know i call it this hammer survival series but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop that like and also to hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of the other um videos i'm going to come up with we're going to I'm looking like around here. I'm like, there's some stuff I want to change. But, you know, we'll figure that out in the next episode. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a safe rest of your day. Hope, uh, hopefully everyone is staying safe out there, staying inside. And if you are going out, just make sure, you know, wash your hands, don't touch your face and all that kind of stuff. But have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time.